Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, today I'm talking about the life review. Some people have asked me, how can we make our life review better or more positive when we actually do our life review? And I understand this philosophy because I was there where I experienced no time. So let's go into this today. I want you to understand when I was a child, I could have done something to someone. I could have created a bad situation. I'll just call it the event. Okay. So let's just make an example here where I had this event when I was a child. Now I'm older and I pass away at some point and I go to heaven and I do my life review. In that life review, I have to look back at that event, right? The example that I'm talking about. And I have to heal those energies. I realign the energies back into karmic good energy, right? So I hope that you're keeping up with this one, okay? So now take that out because we all know basically how the life review works. We heal all the things that we've done, whether it's good or bad. We neutralize all that energy, right? And it's tenfold. So if we have bad things occur to us or do things that we do, those events are tenfold horrible. And that's why it's horrible. But good things that we do, you know, like smiling at a stranger and they feel that gratitude, those events are also tenfold. So it's gorgeous. So how do we create all these good things so we have a really good life review? We heal our past now. We don't have to go back 40, 50 years into the past to that event, okay, and go up to all those people who we hurt, okay. They don't process that in their life review. They only process what they have caused and created themselves. So when we look at this event from my childhood, and, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago, whatever that event is for you that you can relate to. So you think about it now because in heaven, there's no time. Okay. Time does not exist, which means everything is now. Huh. So when I think of that event that I did years ago, and I relive that moment, what all that pain that I caused to someone else or that ripple effect that I created to hurt somebody else, I heal it now within me. It's now energetically realigned in my karmic energies. So when I pass over in my future, like a timeline, Okay, here I am as a baby, up here I am now, and then I, in the future up here I'd pass away. When I go to heaven and I look at that event now, it's already karmically aligned. So just like in my book, when I'm talking about the cat, okay, you know how I talk about the cat and I'm looking at the memory of the cat in my hand, okay, like this picture here just depicts, that energy is already cured, healed, realigned, or karmically rebalanced. Does that make sense for you? Okay, so what we can do right now, which is all the second half of my book, The Teachings of Heaven, I go into all the ways of creating energy so we can heal our past so it doesn't hurt us because <laughs> it's bad. I'm going to be honest. It's tenfold, a hundredfold, a million times worse. You know, imagine that you swear at someone. Okay? Imagine that you, you, and that person, oh, that, that cow. That emotion that we just created from our emotional connection to them, this is big now, right? 
I have an emotional connection to that person because I'm giving them that emotion of anger, sarcasm, total, um, making them less valuable or important to me. So I'm inflicting like a disease all that emotion onto that person when I scream at them and then they cower. Ah. So that is what I have to cure or heal. I don't have to heal the fact that I swore at them. I have to heal how me swearing at someone made that other person react to me, okay? Because I caused it. They don't have to heal it because they didn't create it. Does that make sense? So when you look into the part, the, the second half of my book, Teachings of Heaven, please email me if you do want a copy. All you've got to say is, please, can I get a copy of your Five Years in Heaven book? I email you a PDF, okay? Like attracts like. Negative emotions and behaviors. How do we know what's wrong unless someone says, hey, are you aware that you're a sarcastic little witch? Uh, no, I didn't know that I was being sarcastic. How do we know what we're doing unless someone points it out to us? The mirror effect. Positive emotions. How do we move more positive? How to connect with ourselves. How med med meditation techniques work. How to pray. Breathing techniques. Daily affirmations. Raising your vibration techniques. How to surrender the past. How to heal yourself. Doesn't mean physically. Look at the chapters. It's all there. Like, I know a lady, she went to um, a meditation group, just that chapter there. That chapter holds more than what she got in a four-hour course, and she paid over $1,000 for that. She said, Linda, I got your book, and your one technique was better written, more informative than I just spent $1,000 on. Everything I do is free. If you value what I say, if you gain any good energy out of what you do, and if you wish to support me, my PayPal link is below. So everything I do is free. Why do you think that is? Because the more we create good loving energy now, the less pain <laughs> we get in our life review. I am trying to help everybody succeed, okay? Succeed. That's why my Five Years in Heaven book, when it first came out about five years ago, it was called Heal to Success. Huh. In some of my works, you may have heard me talking about Heal to Success. So that's why it was called Heal to Success, because we are successfully obtaining all that righteous energy in our life review so we go into heaven and it's bliss utopia the best thing ever so i hope that this has helped us all today and it makes you understand a little bit more as to why i say what i say and if you do want a copy of my book all you got to do is email me, linda at lindaray.info. My link is below. And get yourself a copy of my book and start to grow. The more we know, the more we grow. I don't say take heed to all of my techniques, but it's when we incorporate a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a little bit from what they say. Always be the best version that you want to be. Hope you have a good day. Talk soon. Bye.